A Norfolk businessman is putting up a reward to catch the thieves who cost his mechanic shop thousands of dollars. Someone stole 13 catalytic converters from him over the weekend. And he tells 10 on your side's mighty Lena Belores he's not the only victim, Lena. Anita, that's right. Gary Leach says other nearby mechanic shops have also been the target of thieves. They're after the catalytic converters. They're on the underbelly of the car. They can be worth a pretty penny when they're melted down. Leach is not happy, and he wants to see the people responsible caught. Inside of Gary's transmissions, you'll find all sorts of tools and car parts. <coughs> and now, when everything is closed up at night, you'll find cars and catalytic converters locked in the garage. That's because Gary Leach isn't taking any more chances. I'll make sure they're in the building or the cats are all laying inside my building. And you know, they have to break in the building then. He's doing this because of what his surveillance camera showed at 3.45 in the morning on Monday, April 5th. All we can see is uh, somebody walking by the interstate. Going, going in and out of the fence by the interstate where he cut it. In about 20 minutes, thieves cut a hole in the fence and stole the catalytic converters off of 11 cars. Cut the whole system out right here. Leach is working with his insurance company, but... If my insurance don't cover it, I'm going to pay for it because it's my customers. I got to take care of my customers. You know? And taking care of his customers could cost him upwards of $4,000. They were here in my responsibility. So that's the way I feel it should be done. Leach knows he'll get through this, but he's upset. It's tough. Really is. All the years work your for everything you did. Somebody takes it from you. And in case those thieves think of returning, I come in three and just leave all the lights out, come through the front door and go to my back door and look out and see if I see anybody out there. Leach will be watching. Leach says Norfolk police have visited the shop at least four times in the past few days. We have reached out for an update on the investigation and are waiting to hear back. Now, if you know anything about who took these converters, call the crime line. In the newsroom, I'm Maria Elena Valores, 10 on your side.